Well, guys, we're in for a, <laughs> a special treat uh, tonight. Uh, Jill's mom, Liz, is going to show us how she makes her deep fried beer pies. And uh, we're making this video because we want to learn how to make them ourselves, and now you'll know how to make them. So. <laughs> okay, so in here I got uh, one cup of water, warm water, two teaspoons of sugar, and two packs, two of the small packs of yeast. The traditional, it's not the quick rise yeast, it's the traditional yeast. Okay, so let's just have it all. Let that, let the yeast rise a little bit, and then we'll add the other ingredients in about 10, 15 minutes. Okay, so that's great. And her mama is the one that made the nickel for us, so uh, reload. <laughs> <laughs> the yeast is, is risen there, good enough, I think. Oh yeah, how long was that? Roughly 15 minutes or so? Uh, yeah, about 10, 15 minutes, and it starts getting frothy like that. Kind of smells like when you're making homebrew. Yep. <laughs> it's just what it smells like. So now, oh, I gotta get my. Oh, that's good. Okay. Just quarter, I know, a third of a cup of warm milk. Just Grand Prix milk, I'm using. And then, third of a cup, everything is third, yeah? Third of a cup of milk. There's a cup of oil. I should put this. Plus at least a third of a cup of sugar. I got sugar there? No. Jillian, can you get me sugar? Put it Jillian and then give you a third of a cup of sugar. Okay. Tablespoon of vanilla. So, that's about a tablespoon. And two eggs. Crack them. One. Two. And one. To this. Make sure you've got five cups of flour. Okay, five cups of flour. Five cups of flour going. Okay. And you just start stirring it. I think I'm going to need a little bit more flour because I mean a little bit more milk. Okay, so I got a little bit more. Okay, let's get a nice good dough. some more flour now because you want to make your get all the stickiness out of it. And flour until everything is one one big ball and it's no longer sticky. I usually put a little bit of flour on top, a little bit of flour on the bottom, and then just start kneading it in.
breathe a bit of pan on the top of it. Now, let that rise for 30 to 40 minutes. We'll test it after 30 minutes to see if it's, if it's rolls enough. Well, you just leave it together, you cover it? Or? Yeah, cover it with a cloth. Perfect. Anyway, guys, that's, that's the first step towards this, and uh, we'll continue on later. Okay, this has been here now for about 50 minutes, actually. It took a little bit longer to rise. Okay. But we need to see if it's if your doors is because you put two holes down in them, and then if the holes don't go together, then you can tell your door is risen enough. If these went together, then you would have to cover it and let it rise again. Oh, cool. Good so, I'll just go like this down. And leave it all down. So basically, it's just Gives a sweet bread dough, hey? Yep. Yeah. That's all it is. Just ordinary sweet bread dough for the raisins. So, yeah. Oh, I just gotta get some flour here. Sam it. Get all the bubbles out. Keep kneading it. Sometimes you hear the rhythm cracking. <laughs> Four, sometimes I do five. Just see how much. See where it's popping up there? I haven't made down a little bit too big. I never. Squishing it enough to get all the air holes and air bubbles or whatever. Starting to get a little bit more brown in there. No. And what, what, what's like this? How much cinnamon to sugar? There's uh, one cup of sugar and about a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon. Okay, mix up. Can, yeah. So anyway, guys, that's what a, what a beer pot is. It's a deep fried sweet dough, and you take it out and roll it in cinnamon and sugar, and they're absolutely delicious, and uh, I can't wait to sample one. Ooh. first batch and we got a few more to go over here and she's at the last ones there now and she got some over here and a bowl full right there and some over here and now my favorite part 
is I'm gonna test one. And I'm gonna pick out a big one. Mmm, oh my god. I just love them. They're absolutely delicious. Mmm. Oh, I thought you had. I thought oh. you said the last batch, but there's a few more there. A few more here. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, they're now. best eaten the same day, too. Okay. They're still good the next day, but they taste best when they're eaten first like, oh, okay yeah when they're fresh the better they you know the fresher they are the better they are but uh but uh they're good really good and uh so anyway now we'll be able to make these ourselves and uh you can make them as well and uh thank you liz for showing us all you're welcome <laughs> sorry i'm favorite